If you've seen either of these two Excel charts in my videos, you may have asked, hey, how in the heck does he make either of these? Because they're not really out of the box Excel charts. I want to show you that how both of these are possible by using two series in the same chart. This is one of those useful little tips that can go a long way and drastically improve how your visualizations look in your reports. All right, so here's the data we're using. It's just a uh, sales data plotted over time. And then beneath it, we've got sales data broken down by product category. So let's talk about this gradient line chart you see here first. The real trick to doing this is just including the same set of sales data twice. So this column and this column, they're just copies of each other. Now, when you drop them in, they're gonna look something like this. You'll have one bar and another bar. Of course, they're identical because it's just the same sales data. And what you're gonna do is click into one bar, go to design, click into change chart type and turn one of them into a line. Now click into your other bar, hit change chart type. We're gonna turn this one into a 2D area chart. And then literally all you do is just click into these and update your colors. So our line, we've just turned into a green line with uh, green markers on it. And then for the area chart in the background, we've just clicked in, turned it into a gradient fill. And that's just a gradient from a dark green all the way down to a fully transparent green. And it's a linear gradient at a 90 degree angle. All right, now let's talk about this beautiful little double donut chart. So essentially you just need a category in one column and then whatever two metrics you want to compare in the other two columns. This is really going to work well with data where you're trying to show proportionality or the ratio between different categories. Now, if you've highlighted all your data, you go to the uh, insert tab, drop in a chart. If you're using a pivot table, you're just going to drop in a pivot chart. But if you're using a regular chart, you'll just drop in a donut chart under the donut option. Now, if your data is formatted, like I just showed, you're actually going to get two donuts like this. Then again, we're just going to go through, we're going to update our colors. If you click into your series, you'll also have an option to change how big the donut hole is. If you want to change your sizing, that's how you do it. And one little trick, if you want to replicate this cool glow effect that you see, just click into the series. And one of the options in your, in your formatting data series menu is actually a glow. And you can just drop in a glow. I like to do a nice big one, like 30 point size and like 92% transparent. And that gives you that cool glowy effect. I think the big takeaway here is that Excel charts have tons of customization options, oftentimes even more than many BI tools out there. So you can do really cool, intricate, fun, creative designs in it. Uh, and a lot of these features are really just built right in. We just like never get taught how to use them. Most people don't even know they're there in the first place. Oh yes, and if you're asking where you can get these templates, uh, I've got a link on my profile to my newsletter and I just send out free templates and free tutorials each week. That's literally all I do on the newsletter, just free learning resources. Thanks so much everybody, have a good one.